Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration of creating color surface plot in Python using Matplotlib. So as always, let us import some of these useful libraries like NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. And then we're going to read a data file of the life expectancy in Canada ranging from uh, 1918 all the way to 2019. So um, I simply save this data file on my GitHub page and I'm going to import it using the read HTML function from Pandas. This gives us a list of data frames on that website and then we can extract the data frame by simply taking the first element in that list since there's only one element. And if we do that, we see we get this header here for the data files. So we have an index here, we have a different age groups here, zero. So if you're zero years old then in 1981, you expect to live 75 years, but in 2010, you expect to live 81.4 years and so on and so forth. If you're four years old, you expect to live another um, 77.85 years in 2010 and so on. Okay, so let us start by first extracting the um, the years of interest as a list of strings and then a list of floats and you'll see why in a moment. So first we um, simply get all of the, the whole uh, sort of header of the, the file containing all the names of all the columns as simply strings that we get here. So we have the unnamed index here, we have the age group, 1981 and so on and so forth as strings. Then we can uh, first of all discard the index and the age group because so right now we just want all the, uh, the years as strings. So we simply take the column names entries two until the, the very end and that gives us this array down here. So now we have all of the years as strings and we'll need those in a moment, we'll see why. And then we're going to convert all of these to floats by simply doing uh, doing this here where we take the um, entries in the years of string list, convert them to float and then store them in a new array which is converted to a numpy array just for just convenience we can print it here. So now we have all of these as floats, that's kind of convenient. And then of course we can also extract the age groups in a similar way, we simply take the data file of the age group column and then save that as an numpy array. Okay. So to first get started, let us plot the um, initial and final life expectancies for 1981, 2019. So fairly standard plot. We've probably seen that a couple of times before. So we can see that the life expectancy decreases fairly linearly and then sort of slopes out towards zero as you get, get much older. Okay, but of course we have data for not just 1981 and 2019. We also have all the years in between. So it'd be nice to find a way to plot all of that simultaneously. Of course, we could simply put all these lines into the, the same plot, but I think that would make this diagram a little bit cluttered. So instead, let's make like a color surface plot. So to do that, we're first going to extract the sort of matrix of life expectancies. So at the moment we have the years of interest as a list of strings. We can actually use that to extract sort of the, uh, the range of value inside of the data frame that correspond to the life expectancies. So we simply take the data frame with the list of years as a string here, and then we get this data frame right here, which is simply all of the life expectancy data for every single year. And then we can convert all that to a numpy array in the end here, and the reason is that it's much easier to actually plot things like a color plot if you have a, a numpy array. So let's actually make the color plot. So first we just initialize the plot here, and then we create what's called a mesh grid. The idea is that we take all of the different ages, so that'd be like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 years old, and then all of the, the different years, doesn't, uh, whatever it was, where was that, 1981, and then 82, and so on and so forth. We sort of create a, a grid, so to speak, of all of these uh, different values, so we can make a 2D plot. And then we have the, um, the set value here will simply be the life expectancy array that we extracted up here, this, this matrix right here. And then just to be clear, we actually need to transpose the set matrix when we um, make the plot. And it has to do with the fact that if the x and y data is like 100 by 200 entries, then the set data also needs to be 100 by 200 instead of 200 by 100 or whatever it is. So anyway, um, we simply use this uh, contour function right here. And we can set the number of sort of color levels we divide it into to 20, for example. And then if we run this, we should get a color plot like this. And yeah, note that if we don't transpose the set array, then we get something with the wrong dimensions, but if we do transpose it, it becomes 39 by 111 as intended. So anyway, we get this uh, color plot right here. You can see we have the uh, a certain year here, and a certain, I'm oh, sorry, a certain age and a certain year here. So for example, if um, you were to compare the year uh, 1990 to the year 2010, you can very easily compare how the sort of color changes as you move along the age right here for those two, those two years. And of course, we can play around with some of the different settings here. Like maybe we can set this to five instead, see what happens. So you can see we get sort of a coarser division of the of the different life expectancies. That's something you can play around with. But, but of course, another thing we can do is instead of looking at all this sort of from, from a bird's eye view, we can also make a sort of 3D color plot. Sometimes that's a bit better for understanding the data to have like a proper 3D visualization. So to do that, um, we're going to use the plot surface function from uh, Matplotlib. And we set up the, 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 um, the plot in kind of a similar way here with a well, we have to specify the projection up here for the subplots a little bit. Um, we have the mesh grid as before and the, the 
yes, the set values. And then we can simply use the plot surface function right here. So here we are selecting a certain color map, which we can actually change a little bit. And if we run this, we get the following chart out. As you can see, so we have like a nice sort of 3D surface plot of all of the different um, life expectancies. And we can even change this to a different color map. Let's select spring here, I believe it's called. Oh, no, it's not called that. Oh, sorry, it has to be spring right here. So now we can change the surface color here. This is kind of a, maybe a little bit painful to look at with the very bright pink color, but I think it's also one called winter, like so. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of different options for styling the surface plots however you, you want. So anyway, that was just a quick demonstration of how to create these kind of colorful uh, 3D surface plots if you have a large data set. So the uh, link to all of the source code is available in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.